Uh, this is a quick video for um, coach lighting. Uh, these are some coach strips that we sell at DCC Train Automation. Um, they retail just under £10. Um, this is the bright white one. Um, as you can see, it's lit up here. Um, you can adjust the brightness. There's a proximity switch which you can just turn and uh, adjust the brightness. If I turn it down, you get dimmer and then full brightness. So you can adjust it to what you desire. And they are very bright. See? So it's totally adjustable. Um, it's also uh, been built in three segments. So if you've got short coaches you can cut them down. So you've got a section from here from my finger here to here, so that's one section, so that would have three lights in it. Or then there's another section ahead of it, which comes right up to here, and then there's another section with two in it. If you cut off the sections, you can still use the off-cut sections, and I'll show you how to do that shortly. So you could just use it as one whole strip, as a couple of sections, or individual sections. So it gives you a huge amount of versatility, and you don't waste the bit you've cut off. Um, you can also um, connect up a capacitor. I'll just turn the light on here. Uh, you can connect a capacitor here. Uh, we can connect that to the plus and the minus on the board. If I just turn this light off, I'll turn that light off, and I'll show you. Okay, so. There's a, two solder pads where my finger's pointing here. There's a minus and a plus. The capacitor two legs, you would solder onto those two contacts. So if you had a section of track um, that was slightly dirty, um, there'd be charge in the capacitor, so you wouldn't get any light flicker um, at all, or a dead section, or whatever. Um, so this is the light strip. Um, where my thumb is here, there is three dotted lines. I don't know if you can quite see them, but that is a cut mark. And then further down, just there, there is also a cut mark. So that is the sections where you could um, cut it all off. Let me just zoom in a bit here if I can. I might not be able to. Okay. Um, you can see the end of the board here. There's two little holes with silver marks around them. That is the solder points for your power connection. It said Gleiss on there. This is a German manufacturer. So Gleiss means track in German. Uh, left rail and right rail. Or if it was a function decoder, your blue wire and then your function wire. So if it was function 1, green, 2, purple, so on and so forth. So if you wanted it connected to a function decoder, you still use these two outputs on the board. So when the board is one piece, as we've got here, while I've just got it focused in, you can see this P1, that is the screw that you turn to adjust the brightness. Okay. Um, so this is the whole board. I'll just run down. You can see the LEDs here. All the resistors built in. Um, on the end of it here, where my thumb is, so it says SLB4. And there's plus mark there and a minus mark there. Say you had a coach with tail lights. You wanted to put red tail lights on a coach. You could power those LEDs or little bulbs from those two solder pads. Um, very useful um, if it's an end coach or if you want to just put a light in a, another compartment, a little LED, you could just power it from those two um, places. So let's um, just zoom out again. Okay, so this board, as we, as we were just saying, as it is at the moment, every LED will light up. So if I just add some power to the Gleiss terminals on the end. Like so. Now this is a different colour to what we had before. This is the 
warm the warm yellow okay so you can see that now if this is too long for your coach all you have to do is on the end here where the, dot th the dotted lines are between the two glyce terminals we can just cut through the board so now we have two parts of the lighting board okay we have a very short section and the long section if you just want to use the long section for start for starters you just reconnect your power to the end of the board and all of them still light up okay so that is the other that is the left bit that's left over from the board if however you only wanted to use the small section which was left this small section connecting it actually to the glyce terminals doesn't power this part of the board anymore see no power if you still wish to use this where it says SLB4 you put your power to those outputs if I can do it I so if I connect two power supplies to the SLB4 plus and minus that small section just the two LEDs that we cut off from the lighting board light up so you could use that in a building or in another part of the coach or wherever you so wish okay so that, that it means you don't make that part of the lighting board obsolete. I will just disconnect that. I've actually just put two wires onto the outputs just so I can show you how to use it later on. Right. So if you wanted to use the lighting board plus the one we've just cut off, so if I just get a bit of solder on here okay so I've just put some solder on ten the ends of the wire the wires Just put this power supply to lighting board. Okay, so you can see the long part of the lighting board's lit up. <laughs> I'll turn the light off and see better. So the long part of the lighting board's lit up. If then the short part you want to use with this lighting board, at the end of the board, again, you can see there's a SB3, SLB3 solder pads. So just put the plus to plus and the minus to the minus. So if I just solder the plus to the plus. Let's solder. Minus goes on here too. Now you can see that the little board is also lit, so none of it's ever ever obsolete. Okay, I'll just unsolder that again. So the reason this is is every part of this board has resistors built into its individual sections. So this means no resistors you need to wire in. It's all there ready for you, ready to roll. Very simple, very easy for you to install. Okay, so that is using it just straight power to the board. If you want to use a decoder attached to the board to turn the individual sections on and off, because after you've actually cut the sections, 
if you had a four or five function decoder, you could use three of the functions and have function one for the first part of the board, function two for the second part of the board, and three for the last part. If then you wanted to put tail lights on the fourth function, you could wire the tail lights into the fourth function on the dec decoder. So loads of different ways of using this one lighting board. Um, thank you for watching this. I hope it was helpful. I'll show you at a later date how to wire it to an accessory decoder and uh, turn the lights on and off via DCC control. Two power supplies to the SLB and the lighting board light up so you could use that in a building or in another part of the coach. I'll just disconnect that. I've actually just put two wires. Use the lighting board plus the one. Get a bit of solder on here. the wires and I'll just put this power supply to if then the short part you want to use with this lighting board so just put the plus to the plus and the minus to the minus so if I just solder the plus to the plus The little board is also lit, so none of it. So the reason this is is so this means no resistors. You need very easy for you to install. Okay, so that is using it just straight power attached to the board to turn the individual sections on and off. Function decoder, you could use three of the functions and have function one for the first part of the board. If then you wanted to put tail lights on the fourth function, so loads of different ways of using this one lighting board. At a later date how to wire it to an accessory decoder